This is Jeff for Gold Hand Drawings. Welcome back. It's been a while since I didn't upload any watercolor related videos. I was a bit busy buying like stationaries and doing new stuff. Since I'm leaning a little bit more to stationary product reviews and typography designs and ASMR and all that stuff. But um, watercolor is also one of my uh, hobbies so I will upload time to time. Okay so today watercolor papers comparison. So these three are the most popular professional grade watercolor papers Koreans like to use, I think. Especially Arches and Artistico. The Waterford Saunders is a little bit hard to find in Korea than these two. So I think that's why Koreans like to use these two a lot. But anyway, they are all uh, acid free, all 100% cotton. I've picked a size that is closest to A4 size. Arches is uh, 23 by 31 centimeters, 9 by 12 inch. 12 sheets, it's not a block. It was about like $24, so about $2 per sheet. So the block version will be slightly expensive than the non-block version. And the Waterford is also 23 by 31. 20 sheets in block was about like $30, so about $1.5 per sheet. And Artistico is slightly smaller, 23 by 30.5 centimeters. This one also, I think 20 sheets block. I think this was about like $1.4 per sheet. So the highest price is Arches and Waterford and Artistico is like 20 to 30% cheaper. So I think uh, on cover design, this Waterford Saunders is the winner on my point of view. It looks really expensive and luxurious I mean this one is also okay but the block one uh, it's just ugly as this Fabriano I really hate the um, Fabriano and Arches cover design I mean we can't make it uglier than these Arches is definitely rougher than these two these two, I think the texture roughness is pretty similar, but the grain pattern on the Saunders is a little bit more big and bumpier than the Artistico. Artistico has more like settled grain patterns. Arches, I think, is like in middle of cold press and rough. It's pretty rough. And also, we cannot choose the paper color. They only make this, um, calm off white color artistico and saunders they both have like natural and bright white to choose so there's more options to it and the one that i picked right now for both of them is um high high white i think yeah it's high white and this one is extra white so they're a little bit whiter than the arches that i bought you can see this color is a little bit more dull, I would say. Okay, so um, I will take out one sheet and cut it into all A4 sizes and do some sketching with the pencil and see how it reacts. Okay, so I did some sketches with pencil and one thing I've noticed is while sketching, this uh, Waterford Saunders paper were quite bouncy. Maybe that's why the graphite came out pretty light. So probably guessing it will hold water for this period of time, like arches, because arches were also bouncy. 
but not as much as the sounders, but definitely bouncy. Arches, I think the graphite smudges quite well. It was also quite hard to erase since the texture was very rough. And this artistico was quite pleasing while sketching. So sketching, I like artistico the most because the, uh, the line comes out pretty crisp and it didn't smudge that much. And next, I think maybe arches, even though it was hard to sketch because of the uh, rough texture. Mm, I think Waterford was too bouncy for me. It's not that suitable for detailed drawings, I think. So, Waterford, quite bouncy. Arches, a little bit hard to sketch because um, the texture was too rough. Meaning the erasability is also very down. Fabriano, quite good. The, the line comes out pretty crisp and clear. So, on sketching, I think Artistico is the best. Okay, so now I'll do some uh, watercolor testings and tell you guys how I think about them. So I've done all six experiments, the water spread, the brush strokes, the brush strokes on wet on wet, wet on dry, on partially, and lifting, instant lifting, lifting after fully dried, wet on wet blending, wet on dry blending, and glazing. And before I go on a review, I just have to say, there's a reason why people love arches. I mean, if I jump into conclusion, I think arches has the highest paper quality. The, uh, the blending was very easy, wet on wet, wet on dry, all very good. You don't have to like work too hard. The paper actually helps you achieve any like techniques you want. Glazing, of course, it was also perfect. I mean, I suck at glazing, so it came out like ugly, but when I did it, the, the glazing was really good. And the paper soaks the water really rapidly and holds the water for a decent amount of time. So you have like a, enough time to work with it. So I think the, um, the performance or the outcome of the Arches paper it's almost perfect, I think. 
I mean, I just wish they, they also make extra wide or like a bright wide version and make the, uh, the roughness a little bit softer. Artistico, I think the, um, the water control was the hardest. So if you decide to buy this, you have to be careful on the, um, the backwash. The paper dries the, the fastest, so not enough time to work on it compared to the uh, Arches and Saunders. I mean, the spreadness, not as good as the others, but pretty good enough. It does spread out like evenly to all like directions. The blending was also quite good, but the glazing for some reason, I really had like a hard time doing the glazing. So I have to say um, it's the worst among these, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually very good. All I'm saying is Arches and Waterford performs a little bit better. That's all. Art Artistico is really good. Saunders Waterford. Maybe I can say the Arches and the Artistico was pretty similar on the um, performance. But the, uh, the Saunders was a little bit different. I think um, the Saunders has the prettiest on the uh, water spread. And, and I think it spreads fast and far than the others. Feels like the, uh, the spreadness is a little bit extended than these two. I guess I can also say the um, the paint spreads too fast, meaning there's like a chance of two colors might get like mixed as one color. So that could be down to someone. I mean, the paper needs to like hold the pigment so we can work with it. But the uh, this waterfall, it just spreads really fast. So I was guessing the blending could be a little bit hard. Maybe using a little amount of water will help. But the um, the glazing came out the best out of these three. It was really easy to to work with on the on the glazing. I think this Saunders is um, very suitable for people who do like like a washi type landscape painting. And Artistico, I think for still life type of painting is suitable. And Arches, I think suitable for any type of painting. So very uh, beginner friendly, I would say. Okay, so I think I said pretty much all the uh, ups and downs of these three papers. The characteristics of these three papers and if there's any question please uh, leave a comment I'm no watercolor expert I'm just the uh, hobbyist but um, if I know their answer I will answer it okay so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video bye bye